The International Labor Organization is celebrating 100 years, and today, labor officials here in the Bahamas held a one-day symposium at the National Training Agency Gladstone Road to mark the milestone. The Bahamas joined the ILO in 1976 and remains committed to ensuring that the rights of workers and employers are protected. Labor Minister, Senator the Honorable Dion Folks, says the Bahamas has benefited greatly from the International Labor Organization over the past 43 years and reaffirmed the country's support. An active member of the ILO, the Bahamas over the 43 years has benefited significantly from adopting various conventions and recommendations of the ILO and enshrining the same into our statute laws. In fact, I hasten to add, the Bahamas has ratified all eight of the ILO core conventions and implemented a significant number of recommendations in our country's laws, regulations, and policies. Director Claudia Coinhart reflected on some of the challenges ILO members continue to face worldwide. 190 million people globally without jobs, 65 million of them younger than 25, 300 million people working in extreme poverty. Wages are not growing and we're witnessing a painful continued rise of inequality with 1% of the population having 27% of global income and 50% of the poorest just having 12% of global income. Now this inequality is a major factor in the increasing divisions that we see in our societies and the rise of populism and extremism.